so busy. <laughs> so on a uh, on a baguette, I always like to when I'm training people. I always like them if they can draw the score, then I think I trust them to actually maybe attempt scoring uh, because it's actually a lot of people want to uh, uh, just score a baguette like across like this. So you know, like that that's. Uh, kind of what they envision in their head. And what happens is, is that you there's so much gap here and there's no overlap. There's a whole chunks of the, the dough that doesn't have, or the baguette that doesn't have a score underneath, and it doesn't like get the proper oven spring and volume, mm -hmm. right? So a proper score on a baguette um, is tip to tip, and you're, you, so think of breaking this into one third, uh, thirds here. So the baguette is here's one third, two thirds, and three thirds, right? And, and these lines can continue all the way down. I can't draw straight lines right now. But uh, so we're, we're scoring in the center uh, third of the baguette. So as we come down, we'll, we'll start in the, in the, near the tip and you come straight down, almost straight, slight angle, right? And so typically you overlap about a third of the line to come down again. And so you're keeping your scores uh, in the in the center of that uh, well, in the center of that baguette like that. So now here begins the advanced part because you can see that in I think in a book. How much space is here? Right here, I I, I kind of call this the hinge, right? How much space is there between your cuts? All uh, kind of largely depends on how proof the dough is. If you get a if you get a, a baguette that you have to put in the oven that's a little bit underproofed you'll typically leave a wider hinge like that, okay? These are just the, the, small, the small little details about scoring. But if you get a baguette that is fully proof, then you're still trying to get... So if you get your cut right, this will peel back. You'll see a little bit of crumb, so the texture will be different in appearance. If you don't cut it right, it's just gonna be flat. Might even make your baguette more flat if you cut it too deep. Uh, holding the blade is really important. And we'll have some actual bread to do this with in a minute. There's my baguette. It's a really fat baguette. Um, you want to hold the blade at a 45 degree angle and then turn it back towards you about 30 or 45 degrees. Also. And then slice on the top. Like that. It's, it's that angle. That when it hits the heat and, and starts to expand in the oven, it's going to force that edge to curl out, while the other part just sort of rolls out, exposing the crumb. <coughs> you cut it straight down, your cuts are just going to go, you're going to get no curl. They might look okay, but they're not going to have much character. Um, and if you hold it too far, then you get like this crazy fin that will rise off of there that's razor sharp. So 45 degree angle, and then turn back towards you 30 to 45 degrees. Yeah. A little baby. You can fit <coughs> two of these deep in there. The only thing we'd be able to do is maybe come back with one, two, or three like, yeah. across. Yeah. So, oh. you want to score? Sure. I love scoring. <laughs> That's probably a, a three. 45 degree angle. That's probably here. There you How'd go. I do, boss. Did excellent. <laughs> and you can, what's cool is you can look down in the cuts if you see down in there. Look at the crumb already. Oh, yeah. Those others were kind of flat, so. <laughs> You're just trying to use all the other. faster than I could get on film. <laughs> we got a lot of steam going on there. So, uh, 
<laughs> what parameters did you set on the oven? Temperature, steam, well, venting? Just because I'm a little bit irritated with the backup. I keep going now. I've gone back to 460. I, I like the 440 and the four, or 445, mm -hmm. but um, we're pushing it now. Yeah. Because I'd rather I'd rather have thinner crust and baked bread than uh, just lose it all together. What about <clears throat> liters of steam? Um, that one I should have changed on the back end. We should have gone down like maybe 0.1 to 0.15, right? Is that what you guys do? We use 0 0.3. 0 0.3. Yeah. So we were at 0 0.5 on that one, and it seemed to be an excessive amount. I think 0.2. Probably right. 0.2. I'm gonna change it now so we don't get it. Find someone modulated that is sent to wherever it needs to be. And there's independent controls over the deck and the top. So if the deck doesn't need any gas or electricity, it just doesn't get any. It's pretty cool. So you, you pay a little more. Fugasi? Yeah. Yeah, Fugasi, yeah. Ladders or flames, I don't know what it is. Yeah.